In chapter two, we learned to dis discuss what is known as the limit of a function. And the first thing we do in chapter 2.2 .2 is we discuss the graphical definition of a limit. And the graphical definition of a limit is the y value of the function that the function approaches as x approaches particular values. So we have three different types of limits we want to talk about. We can talk about approaching an x value from the left. We can talk about approaching the x value from the right or the limit as I approach the x value from both directions. And then we'll do an algebra problem where we just figure out what the y value is at that particular value of x. So for the first one, I want to know the limit as x approaches a from the left of f of x, and I want to approach negative 1 from the left. Well, as I, x approaches negative 1 from the left, there is no graph, so there cannot be a limit as I approach from the left, because I cannot physically approach the graph from the left. So in this case, we would say that it does not exist, and you can abbreviate does not exist with a D and E. Next thing I want to do is approach negative 1 from the right. So as I follow the graph, approaching negative 1 from the right, negative 1 on the x-axis from the right, what y value does the graph get closer and closer to? It approaches 3. So that would be my limit as I approach from the right. In order for the two-sided limit to exist, both one-sided limits must exist, and they must be the same number. Here, this one does not exist, so therefore the two-sided limit will not exist. And then I want to figure out what f of a is. Well, I want a f of negative 1. When I put a negative 1 into the function, the value of the function is 3. Repeating the same process for 1. As I approach the, on the graph 1 on the x value, my y value is approaching 1. So that would be the limit as I approach from the left. On the graph of the function, as I approach x of 1 right here, as I come in from the right, my y value is also approaching 1. Because both one-sided limits exist and they're both the same value, the two-sided limit exists and it is also 1. And if I put 1 into the function for x, the y value of the function is 3. Repeating at 2, as I approach 2 from the left, my y value of the function is approaching 1. On the graph, as I approach 2 from the right, my y value is approaching 2. Because the two si one-sided limits are not the same value, I would write that the two-sided limit does not exist. And when I put a 2 in the function, the value of the function is 1. For 3, as I come in towards 3 on the x axis along the graph, my y value is approaching 2. As I come into 3 from the right, so notice I'm coming along to 3, my y value is approaching 1. Both one-sided limits exist, but they are not the same. Therefore, the two-sided limit does not exist. And when I put a 3 into the function, the y value is negative 1. Putting a 4 into the function, approaching it from the left, my y value is approaching the value of 2. Approaching 4 from the right along the x-axis along the graph, my y value is also approaching 2. Because both one-sided limits exist and they are the same value, the two-sided limit exists and its value is 2. And when I put a 4 into the function, the value of the function is also 2. For number 5, approaching along the graph as x approaches 5, my y value 
you notice here it's approaching an asymptote. My y value is going up without bound. It's not approaching a single number. It keeps going up and going up. So the limit does not exist. However, we need to tell them why the limit does not exist. So we will tell them that the limit, we put the infinity symbol because it's approaching positive infinity. But you need to understand that if you put infinity there, that means the limit does not exist. And the reason for it is it's approaching positive infinity. Similarly, when I'm approaching from the right, number five, five from the right on the graph, my y values are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and they are approaching negative infinity. They're not approaching a single value, but, so the limit does not exist, but we will tell them why. And my limit does not exist for the two-sided limit, but I'm approaching infinity in opposite directions. I'm approaching a positive infinity and a negative infinity because they are different infinities we will write does not exist. If I was approaching the asymptote both from the same direction, like this, we would say that the two side of the limit was positive infinity. And if I was approaching it like this, we would say that the two sided limit is negative infinity. But again, understand that when you're writing an infinity or negative infinity, that means the limit does not exist. And the reason why is because it approaches negative infinity infinity or positive infinity. The last question, f of 5. Well, f of 5 does not exist. The reason why it does not exist, because it's undefined. It's approaching an asymptote. Or another way you could write this is you can say that 5 is not in the domain of f because of the asymptote. And the last problem, as I approach 8, Following the graph along the x-axis, my y value approaches 1 from the left. Because there is no way to come in from the right along the graph, I have to say that it does not exist, similar to the one we did up here. And because these are different, we would say that the two-sided limit does not exist and evaluating the function when x is 8, I get a value of 1. So limits will exist. Like here, the limit existed, even though there was a hole in the function, as long as you are approaching the same number from both sides. The limit didn't exist when I only can come into the graph from one side of the function. And the limit will not exist as you approach an asymptote because if you're going towards that number at the asymptote because there are no values. And if it both go to a positive infinity, we would say that the limit is positive infinity, understanding that it does not exist. Another type of function where the limit will not exist as I approach a number is functions that oscillate very rapidly between two separate values and if I wanted to know the limit of this section of the graph as x approach 6, well, as I keep coming in, I'm bouncing up and down between two different values. And the definition of a limit is the single value that I keep, that I approach. If you have a graph that oscillates as you're approaching the point that you're evaluating the limit at, you would also say that the limit does not exist. And the reason for it would be due to the graph oscillating.